Hey everyone, welcome back to Read Makes. In this video, I will be making another Star Wars diorama set on a snow planet. I started again with my picture frame base and then moved on to adding some foam board. I cut the foam board the same size as the picture frame and then added it on top. I added some XPS foam to build up the back of the diorama. This area is going to be a rock formation coming down into a frozen lake. I used a utility knife to carve away and create a more natural terrain. After cutting away, I then went to use my fingernail to kind of chip away against the foam to leave an even rougher surface. I wanted to put a little frozen waterfall stream, so I built up this back corner with some more XPS foam and then carved a little groove in the middle for the water. After the foam base was finished, I then moved to mix some plaster, paint, and Mod Podge to create a texture paste to go on top of the foam. I then spreaded the texture paste all along the rock surface in the back. Once the plaster had dried, I then moved on to painting various tones of blue to create a water effect under the frozen lake. I wanted to contrast against the snow, so I painted the rocks with a matte black. I found that boosting the contrast between the darker tones and the lighter ones really makes snow dioramas pop a lot more. I used a dry brush against the stones on the back with a light gray, and then I built my way up to a white. To achieve the frozen lake effect, I decided to go with an acrylic sheet. I scored and snapped the sheet to the right size and glued it onto the base. I set it aside to dry, and then once it had dried, I began sanding down the surface to create that icy clouding effect. For the stream, I began by using some UV resin to create the base layer. For the snow, I mixed together some light molding paste and Woodland Scenics Snow Flock. Once I was happy with the consistency, I then moved on to spreading it on top of the rocky surface. I also added a little bit at the edge of the lake. To really help sell the effect that this is a frozen lake, I then scored on some scratches to create cracks. To push the realism a bit further, I used some UV resin and some cotton to create the water effects for the stream. I then draped it down and glued it in place. And with that, the base was finished, and it was time to move on to the miniatures. This is one of those Haxian bounty hunter droids from the Jedi Fallen Order games, and I also think The Force Awakens. He's going to be shooting a flamethrower from his arm, so I wanted to give his arm a more natural look. I also wanted the droid's eyes to light up, but my wiring didn't quite work out on these and they didn't turn on in the end. I created a little lens over top with some UV resin, and then with all the conversions done, I glued them together. I started painting the droid with a matte black, and then I painted the metallic parts with a silver. I couldn't really dry brush the droid safely anymore that was all glued together, so I decided to paint with some lighter grays to try and achieve a similar effect. I wanted the droid's paint color to kind of pop against the white snow, so I decided to go with red. I then painted the pistons in yellow. And finished the rest off with a black. I painted this little lens blue along with these lines on the back. I was fairly happy with the paint scheme, but I felt like it needed a bit more of that Star Wars grunge. So I went back and painted a few of his armor pieces in brown. I wanted this droid to have quite a lot of battle damage, so I added some various scratches and blaster burns all across his armor. 
I first painted some areas in black and then went back over them ever so slightly with a silver. And with that, this miniature was finished and I could add his little flamethrower. I then set the droid aside to work on his opponent. I had printed this miniature a while back, but I decided to go into Blender and repose him to create a more dynamic stance. I want this Mandalorian to be flying up in the air with rockets coming out of his boots and then firing a blaster shot from his blaster pistol. I ran the wiring down his arm and then through his back and his cape and then down his leg. I hid the wires with some two-part epoxy putty. With the wiring hidden, I then began painting the miniature. I started with a uh, matte black, and then to pull out the details, I dry brushed in gray and then in white. I then began adding color by painting his boots brown along with his cape. I also painted the various little belt loops and pouches on his waist in brown. I painted his pants in gray and then painted most of his armor with this cobalt blue. And then I finished the miniature by painting some of his armor in a dark metallic. For the blaster shot, I just added some UV resin on the tip. Now with the miniatures ready, I drilled holes in the base to run the wires, and then I fed the wires through the base, and then I attached the droid with some UV resin. I added lights to the Mandalorian's jet boots, and I added some armature wire to the bottom of his boot to keep him up in the air. And then I secured him in place with some UV resin. For the flame effect, I added some UV resin on top of the filament and then added some cotton. After finding out the lights and the eyes didn't work, I painted them red. And then I added some black paint on the cotton to make it look like smoke coming from the fire. To finish up this diorama, I painted the sides with a matte black and then I added snow on top of the miniatures, and I painted the flames with an orange. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like what you see here, check out my previous video where I make a diorama featuring Ahsoka and Anakin fighting on Mustafar.